The best way to explore a new city is to connect with the people living in it. Vibrant communities with stories untold. This is Next Stop Nebraska. Nissen Winery, located about eight miles north of Hardington, is not only just a wonderful place for you to come and try different wines from the region, but you can actually learn about how the grapes are grown and learn about the rich history as they are located just off of Highway 12, known as Outlaw Trail. Cheers. So this has, uh, uh, it's, an, it's a wine we just put together here uh, this afternoon before you came. You know, usually uh, the grapes come in from August through September. And then uh, with the whites, we like to take nine months on the whites like before they're baby. ready. It's a wine baby. <laughs> it's a wine baby. Exactly, a wine baby. Okay, so what's uh, this one that we're trying? So this, uh, this is the Jesse James. And this is uh, the last of the 2017 grapes that we're getting ready to bottle. Tim was so nice to give me a quick tour to show me how the winemaking process works. One of the fun things I like to do is... Uh, bring people down here and we can try brand new wines. With wine, certain grapes then make certain types mm -hmm, of wines mm -hmm. and that's what affects the flavor. So, okay. so wine is made in three different areas. One is, is the grape growing. It's the soil you put the grapes on and the cultivars you have and that's, uh, that's really one of the most important aspects because that's where you'll develop your initial tastes. Mm -hmm. And it's the winemaker's job uh, to bring those grapes in and then highlight those little nuances, those differences that make each each bottle of wine unique. What got you into winemaking? Well, uh, winemaking and uh, grapes are agriculture, right? Mm -hmm. We're Nebraska, we're the center of agriculture, and we can do any type of agriculture we want. Mm -hmm. It's a great little community. They really appreciate uh, what we bring to the table and, and, and really make us feel a part of the community. It, it's a great, uh, it's a great piece. I feel every community should have a winery and brewery. Mm. It's, Agreed. It's really <laughs> Agreed. Every community. Every community and should have their easy. own. And a speakeasy. And a speakeasy too. And <laughs> you a guys speakeasy. have this covered in this town. <laughs> it was really awesome to tour the winery and learn more about Tim's story, but what I loved the most was his passion for the Outlaw Trail history and how he incorporates that into his winemaking. To me it's about honing in your creativity. It's a great outlet for your creativity. You meet very interesting people. Wine people, beer people are very interesting people. Uh, people come through, you visit, you can show off your handiwork, your handcraft. Um, and, and it's just a great, uh, it's just a great way to, to meet people too and, and, and be a part of the community offering something that, that no one else does.